Hello and welcome back. This is Quad Blue Shadow, and today I'll be doing a fluid pump slash uh, custom fluid tank tutorial. Uh, and now I'm just gonna build a little platform. And basic, I'm gonna grab my fluid pump right here. Uh, grab something else for some reason. There we go. And now I'm just gonna make a little box. Cover it. Just make a hole right here. And you're going to want to grab a fluid spawner. And with this fluid spawner, just set it to whatever uh, fluid you like, or you could just set it to empty. Just put water on this. And now we'll just hook this up. Just a fluid port. And then to turn it on, all you need is a toggle button or push button. And I also need a battery. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. And now, this should work perfectly fine. Press the button, and it expels the water. And now you can also reverse this to where it's, if you flip the fluid pump, it'll actually bring the water from outside to the inside. And uh, you can also change the power of it. So yeah, you just customize this uh, the way you want. And since this video has actually been quite short, I will just go ahead and add a roll, sta uh, a roll, s roll stabilizer tutorial for a boat. So I've already done one for a plane, but and the boat one is actually much different. You just need a different component and a different P uh, P PID PID controller settings. So gonna come in here. This is this is actually the boat I used for another tutorial. So um, yeah make sure to go check that out. Just gonna put the PID. And now I'm going to break this little piece right here. And now I will grab you oh yeah you need a compact linear track base and make sure the plus side is facing to the right, this side. Or if you're looking at it from here, the left. Just, yeah, the plus side must be looking to the right side of the boat. Now, uh, just get a couple more tracks. That way you can move around. All right. And for the purpose of, uh, purpose of speed, I'll just uh, attach to the four key to the uh, stabilizer itself. So the control output will actually go to the slider. The set point will be zero. Uh, and the process variable, yes. This is where you put your tilt sensor. Uh, huh. Just grab a tilt sensor, put it on the tallest part of your boat. Make sure it is facing to the left of the boat. And then process, that's the process variable. Make sure that it has connection to battery. Spawn it. There we go. In the driver's seat, press 4. And as you can see, it is actually trying to balance that out. So now the values are actually 1 on everything. And it actually doesn't seem to be doing too bad. So yeah, you could either keep it at 1, or just uh, tamper with it. Um, I'll just go with like this, probably. Just want to see if this actually makes it more accurate or not. There we go. Because
because you don't want the weight to go all the way to the to the other side when all it has to do is move a little bit, right? So yeah, with a bigger boat with a like that's more stable, this would actually be a little more accurate. But yeah, you can see it's actually trying to stabilize the boat. And yeah, so that's pretty much all you had to do. And uh, while the boat's running, yeah, oops. there we go. Yep, that's pretty much all you have to do. Like when and while I'm turning here, yeah, <laughs> see, it's trying to fidget around there. It's trying hard. Preferably, you would attach weight blocks to this to make it actually heavier, and to so it could actually have an impact on your uh, ship. So uh, yeah. Um, Ignore that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.